Hey, my money peeps. Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, hey, my name is Tanya, AKA Money and Nails. And here on this channel, we talk about anything and everything that relates to money and budgeting. Y'all, I know I've been away for a hot minute. Life has been crazy, but it's time to get back in it and we need to unstuff my wallet and then we're gonna do our saving challenges and then we're going to restuff my wallet. So let's go. Let's see what I have left in my wallet. Now, the last time that we stuffed my wallet was back on October 8th. The girl has been busy. I've been working nonstop. It's been crazy for the past like two and a half weeks. So life has just calmed down. So for gas, we have left in here. We have 10, 15, 16, 17, 18. So gas has started to come down and my last fill up was $57 versus the $70 last time. And I don't know if it has to do with getting my car repair, but my one tank of gas, I filled up on October 5th and it lasted me till October 15th. And I'm all for that. Groceries, we have $0 and actually we went over on groceries. Um, my budget is $140 and we spent $151. So that difference I just took out of the miscellaneous. So groceries, as you can see, there's nothing in here. Eating out, we have, so we have five, six, and seven dollars left. We ordered pizza and we went to Taco Bell probably twice. Okay, miscellaneous, we have let's see, we have three dollars left. And eat our snacks. Snacks, we have zero dollars left. So snacks mostly consisted of um, adult beverages for those hectic times, you know, when you need to just come home and relax and put your feet up. That's where most of my snack money went to. So let's go ahead and get our saving challenge binder out. Question of the day. What do you do for a living? What is your main source of income? This girl is a pharmacy coordinator slash pharmacy tech for a major hospital. I am going into my 17th year. So let me know down in the comments. I'm curious, what does everyone do for a living? So the amount of money we have left is, so we have 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, 23, Four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight dollars. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some to my um, five hundred dollars saving challenge, and then we are going to add the ones to my one dollar bill saving challenge. So let's go ahead and get the five hundred dollar out. So let's go ahead and do, let's mark off this 20 right here. And then we'll add 10 and two fives. Let's see here. I need 10, so we go. hands are not working so let's see what we have here so we have 150 200 20 40 60 80 300 20 30 40 
50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75. So we have $375. And I'm thinking I might have enough um, to finish this challenge, but I just gotta wait and see. I will know probably by Monday. I'm waiting for some items to clear and then we'll go from there. But how exciting. We're getting to the end of all the challenges. All right, so the $1 challenge, we're gonna take this out. Let's put this aside. Oops, sorry, I just bumped you guys. So we are going to add in all this into here. So let's maneuver this. Look at all those ones. I can't wait to count all this and see what the total is going to be. We're gonna do this probably the end of December, so right before the new year. So let's get our money out so that we can stuff my wallet. And we have a cute little money breakdown slip that I take when I go to the bank. This matches exactly what I need for all my envelopes in my wallet. So we're gonna have 100, we got 150, and then we should have 20, 40, 60, 80, 120. Then we have 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50 in tens. And then we have five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and fives. So this matches perfectly with my cash breakdown slip, and that is a total of $330. So we are going to go ahead and start with my gas. Okay. Does it want to stay? All right. So gas, we are sticking with $75. That has been working for me. Even when the gas prices raise up, it got a little scary because like I said before, my previous fill up, it came to $70. So I thought I was going to have to bump it up. But since the price came back down again, I think we can stay at 75. So we are going to do a 50, two tens, and a five. So we have 50, 60, 70, and 75. Next up is groceries, and I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and stay at 140 this time. So we're gonna do $100 bill, a 20, a 10, and two fives. So we have 120, 30, 35, and 40. Now I know a lot of people are like, $140, that's it for groceries and food. But you have to understand, we do not have gourmet meals every single day. There are days because of the work schedule where you come home and it's like, make a sandwich or have some soup, you know, because who has time to be really cooking when you are so busy during the day? And plus, I don't have small children. My kids are adults. So a lot of times it's just say, it's a straight fend for yourself. Whatever you can find, that's what you're eating for today. So eating out, we are doing 60. So we are doing two 20s, a 10 and two fives. So we have 20, 40, 50, 55, 60. Mm -hmm. 
miscellaneous. We are doing $30. So we're going to do a 20 and a 10. So there's your 30. And snacks. We're doing 25. So a 20 and 5. All right, we are stuffed and ready to go for this week. All right, the wallet is stuffed. We completed two saving challenges today. Don't forget to leave a comment. Let me know what is your career choice right now? What do you do for your source of income? And stay tuned for my next video because I am gonna be doing an unboxing. I did get some new envelopes. I also purchased a couple items on Prime Day. And I did do some purchasing for early Black Friday sales. So until next time, guys, see ya.